Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Kind of have a unique one here today. I am at an auction house and I am learning um, from a good friend of mine that you probably know from the channel. Her name's Tanya at Thrifty Treasures. And she's been using this auction house to not only buy items for resale um, and put it in her antique booth, etc., but she also sells items here too. And she's had some pretty good luck. So I'm gonna go take a peek. And I brought a couple items uh, that I'm gonna see if they want to try uh, doing an auction for and see what happens. One of them is uh, Tiffany. It's like a it's a clock. I didn't know Tiffany made clocks, but I went to an estate sale recently and I picked this Tiffany clock up and I only paid $10 on it. So I can't go wrong. I'll see what happens. And it's one of those type of items where I know I could sell it on eBay. The comps on eBay are pretty decent. But I'm scared to death on shipping something that has a lot of glass and it's fragile and, you know, dealing with the whole insurance and, you know, you know, wondering if it's going to get there all right, etc. So this could be a perfect item to try to get my feet wet at this auction item on the Tiffany clock. And then also um, some smaller like jewelry items. Um, I'd like to get some of my bigger items out of my storage and bring them over here and see if they'll auction them for me. But um, I guess apparently since I'm new, um, they don't want to get started with somebody on large items yet. They want to kind of get my feet wet and get me acquainted with everything. So that's what I'm doing here. And then um, we're also, after we leave this auction house, it's the last day of an estate sale. And we're hoping to catch them at the right time where they're basically giving this stuff like 50 to 75 percent off and see what's left there so maybe we'll get a couple good deals um for putting in our antique booth or putting back on ebay so i'll try to film both and we'll see what happens thanks for watching if you haven't yet subscribed please subscribe i'm trying to get up to a thousand subscribers plus my viewership so i can get monetized but I'm hoping that you'll enjoy the content that I have on my other previous videos as well as this one and you learn something and that's uh, kind of the goal. All right guys, so I already dropped off my items at the, I guess the auction house uh, locally, the one that uh, I've never used before, but we'll see how that goes with the Tiffany clock and the jewelry and this, I guess it's like a vintage stopwatch. Um, so hopefully it goes well. We are just arriving here to an estate sale. Say hello to Tanya. Hey. <laughs> and we're gonna mask up and we're gonna go in there and hopefully find some things. It's the very last day, there's like an hour left and we'll try to get things um, for a pretty good price. Close the deal. <laughs> right. So, so the lady thinks that they're reproduction on the signs, but they're actually the real deal, and they're worth the comps are like eighty to hundred each. So, I'm keeping the facade that they're reproduction. Deal. All right. Oh, it's cold. Uh huh. Thank you. Oh, it was fun upstairs, right? Yeah. You're leaving. Don't be a no. quitter. Oh, oh, no, <laughs> Alright, here's what I got. Do you want me to start naming off prices on the... I, I just bring them up and we'll take it from there. Okay. Um, I don't see. Oh, kind of hidden. I almost bought this the other day. Hey, so do you think people will think I'm smart if I wear a NASA neuroscience shirt? Oh, yeah, they're going to think see. you're a rocket scientist. <laughs> no, they're going to think you're an engineer. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Maybe like, oh, you're one of those weird NASA guys. <laughs> wear like a Big Bang Theory hat on with a NASA and then... There and, you uh, go. Right. Something to that concept, right? Eh? Now you're fighting. NASA-type items. Okay. I always ask... I 
got like a little treasure trove going, man. <laughs> Did you get one of their business cards? I think I painted their seals before just because of their price tags. Yeah, this tags. is my um, third one, I think. Oh, we appreciate it. Yeah, mm -hmm. I always like how it says. And the kitchen is totally wiped out. So, do you have a place where we can sign up and you guys email us if you have one? No? I don't do the email anymore. I was having too many problems with the emails coming back. Okay. But it's like on your website? I have a Facebook page. Oh, okay. So if you like my like my page, I always link the sales to the Facebook page. Perfect. This yeah. place, these are from 19, what, 82? What did you say? 1981. Oh, my goodness. So that puts me at five years old. That has to bring back memories, right? Look, I don't want to hear that. Do you know, I was thinking, I was in high school at night. <laughs> you just a youngin. 1981, it says. I was 10. So that puts me at five years old. But that, it looks like they were never used because. Yeah. My son was born in 88. I thought about. I was in high school wow. in 81. He's 32. <laughs> yeah. You don't look old enough. Like. I, yeah, my son's 32 years old. My oldest? Yeah. So, yeah, we were born in 88. I got a question. This is for sale. Does does that mean I get the trash too? Absolutely. <laughs> I will take the trash from you. Oh my goodness. Woo! I thought that was funny. Do we get to call you trashy though? Uh -oh. What the heck have been thrown in there? I was like, well, free food on the bottom. Yeah. Good idea. I like it. Those were great. Be able to put eight on. How did you get them off the wall? Very yeah. carefully. Just, I tried my best. Yeah. <laughs> I finagled it. How about if I do six for both of them? That's they fine. would have been um, Are we going anywhere eight a piece, so that would make them I don't think four. So. Do you want to go somewhere else? I'm thinking we might need to go to Galveston. Thanks. Considering I put the work into it to get them. Yeah. <laughs> <that's exactly. laughs> I love going up to people's attics oh. when they don't necessarily know if there's anything left up there. Yeah. Oh, man, because then you here. find some of the stuff they forgot hey, about. Hey, where are y'all going 12. with this? Right out here. Oh, yeah, yeah. it was with all the hot dogs and everything. Yeah. It's cold out there. It's getting cold. 67. I got 80 to get here. Is that all right? That's fine. Did everything you got fit in one bag? No, I have another bag back there. Oh, okay, here. I can carry one. If you just give me 12, that's fine. Okay. That way the change goes. Okay. 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 You got it? You sure? Yes, ma'am. Okay. All right, bye. You'll have a good day. You too. Thanks. 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 I will. Sounds good. I can Ooh. breathe. So I'm That's a lot of stuff. $68 all in on two bags. Not bad. And I'll share some comps in the car. Cool. Well, how fun was that, guys? Hopefully I got some good content. I'll know after I edit this video and put it all together for you guys. But um, it is getting cold here in Houston. I'm telling you what, we're not used to this. And I don't think I'm gonna be going out to any estate sales tomorrow or in the near future until it warms up. Because tonight, and t t it's Saturday right now, the day before Valentine's, and it is getting down to 22 degrees here in Houston, and then Monday night, 12 degrees. And I know y'all are up there in the north and saying, hey, that's nothing, but down here in Houston, that is freaking cold. I mean, we're used to wearing sandals almost all year round, so 
Um, I don't know. I'm going to be doing a lot of listing and doing stuff in my storage while all this bypasses us because it is freaking crazy. So I'm glad I was able to get some content and go to that last day of the sale today and get some good bolo items. I wanted to say thank you to Tanya for allowing me to go with her and introducing me to the people at the storage, um, not the storage, but the auction house. Um, that way I can get some items started there and see how that goes. And I will be doing a follow-up video to let everybody know in case they want to try doing that somewhere uh, where they live locally on some auction houses. Because um, it's all about eyeballs, I guess, and seeing you know how good they market your item and you know take pictures and list it and everything else. Um, especially on things like I, I put where you don't necessarily want to sell them on eBay because it's fragile and, you know, you're scared to death on something that might break and, you know, insurance and all that crap you want to try to avoid. So, um, we'll see how that goes. And, uh, let me show you the haul right now of everything I got the estate sale. And hopefully there's some items that you did not know about that maybe you can pick up during your searches wherever you live. All right, I'll try to go through everything. Here's what, and you probably saw the video when I was paying for it, but here's everything that I got. Here's the receipt. I paid all in $67. And I will probably make most of my money back just on these phones. These are a Panasonic set, and I know just for like that plug and that phone alone, I think the comps are like 20 something bucks. So considering I have three of them, I'm doing the math close to about 60, something like that. I'll probably sell them together unless I'm seeing something crazy, but I'll, I'll lot them all three together and sell them one shot. As y'all know, I live in the Houston NASA area, so I'm always looking for items that are NASA related because there are people that just collect NASA. And this is like a nice embroidered shirt and it looks like it was never worn and it's got a vintage tag on it with single stitch collar. So I'll list that and hopefully get at least 20 bucks. Who knows, maybe a lot more. We'll see what happens. This is a vintage Izod Lacoste. I know it was vintage just because of like the cuffs and everything else and the, the house that I was in. So I know, uh, I watched a station, I forget who it was. Maybe it was Rally Roots, I'm not sure, but vintage Izod Lacoste. I'll put the comps up that I find. And it was in really good shape too. These, I'm sure y'all know, vintage Lincoln Logs. I mean, it was on sale, they were asking eight, so I paid like four bucks. It's like a $20 bill, I'm pretty sure. Almost 20, something like that. These could be a gem. These were never used, and these were vintage. They even thought that these were golf shoes, but they're not golf shoes. These are baseball cleats and they're never worn and they're vintage. They were made as a production sample. So I'm thinking somebody who collects vintage Reebok maybe would like these. And who knows, maybe there's something rare because as I was talking to the ladies during the sale, this person that owned the home, her son was a retired baseball player. And so maybe, since these were in 1992, modeled, mold date, I don't know if you can see all that. But these are never used. They were just maybe made and given to them. It's one of those pump, back in the day pump things, and then you release the air. I don't know. So I'll be fun, to, it'll be curious to see how much those are worth. But the, back to the story is that lady's son is a retired Major League Baseball pitcher and his last name was Cooks.
And he was back in the day where um, he was a pitcher in like the early 90s. So maybe he was given those shoes to test out and he never did. He just kind of left them laying there at his mom's house. I'm not sure. Um, McDonald's glasses, Kermit the Frog, the Muppets. The date on this is 1981. I'm not sure if you can see it, but it's right there somewhere. Set of those two, I don't know. For the price I got them for, I'll make probably $10, $15. I might keep this for myself. I didn't run the comps though, but I know that this stuff ain't cheap. Um, this, it was brand new. I checked it and they're selling for like 20 bucks. These toy trucks, they were just priced so cheap. So I looked them up while I was upstairs at the sale and yeah, they're getting like $15, $20. On some of the comps, that truck, I know I looked that truck up and that was like $15 on the comps. This one could be worth a lot more, maybe like 40, 50 bucks, depending on if you catch the right buyer. This one's probably another $15, $20. Now these signs literally were in a closet and they um, were still on the wall. I had to literally pull them off the wall and I'm glad I did. Well, prior to pulling them off the wall and going through the work on it, I did look them up and make sure that they were something that would be of value. And this one's only worth like maybe 30, but this one's worth anywhere between, I'll say 50 to 130, depending on the buyer. And my problem was I had to somewhat damage the sign. And you see how there's dent right there? I had to kind of damage the sign in order to get it off the wall. But I mean, it was either damage the sign or not get anything at all. So I, I'll probably take a little hit on the value, but it was still going to be worth it. Overall, successful day. Um, content for you guys and potentially give you some more ammo out there when you go out. Thanks again for watching. Take care, stay warm, and see you on the next one.